Hello everyone, it's your girl Pretty Love TV. Another one don't apple for Aras TV. APC Shema don't come Aras TV come embarrass APC, my people. He say Mode Bible will not go fit come Aras TV because say a do people no fit buy DSTV or go TV data. So they no fit come TV station come talk this one. Aras TV no get population when go wash the show. So make we see with the APC Shema talk for television station. To take interview with you. Is he talking to people? He will be talking to you and some few people in Lagos there in Ekoyi who can afford DSTV. And those three people cannot afford DSTV where they can, where you can be heard. And he, he, he is moving from one place to the other, reaching out to people and giving the messages to them. And his message is resonating with the people. That is the reason why you see in our rallies, you have a lot of turnout. People want to see him. People want to hear him. And the people, he is telling, he is telling the people what he has for them. He is telling them what he wants to do for them. And the message is resonating with them. It's not like the other people who were there. Yes, these are bourgeois. This is somebody who grew up as a poor person from a, a very poor background. And he's reaching out to the same people. And these are the people that are in need in a do, as I speak today. And the only person who can be uh, be governor now and there is peace in Edo is Monday Okbewolo. Then the idea of say uh, 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 Obaseke want to rig the election is true because we could see that in the past uh, uh, a few weeks what has been going on. He has a, a, a militant group that he called the ESM that he wants to use to rig the election. He has armed them, he has bought guns for them. And we've been calling on government to proscribe that group so that they will not uh, be used for that election. And as I speak up to date, yes. nothing has been done. All right. So if the right. idea of say we are going to use a uh, federal might to, to rig the election, yes. it's not there. We know the president we have is a Democrat who believes in democratic process. Okay. And I don't think we don't even have any link to anybody. We are on our own, we are doing campaigns, and I know that on the 21st, the election will be done and APC will win. All right, Mr. Tenebe, obviously you belong to the bourgeois class because you are here on a rise for an interview. And also, just to correct the information, we, we, we broadcast to millions of viewers um, on a daily basis, including people who have access to other platforms. Aside from DSU that you mentioned, we're also on free platforms, on YouTube. A number of people actually depend on, on news platforms like ours to get information. But also beyond that, I, I hear you that um, you know, Senator Pueblo is going to the people to speak to them. But another critical uh, group of people you might want to consider are potential investors. Because the people whom you're hoping to attract by interviews like this is to sell your state so that people can be interested in coming to Edo State to invest. We've heard about tourism opportunities. You're not just going to sell to the, to the people in your state. And that's the importance. And I, I would imagine that you would understand the importance of that um, yourself. So let me ask you, what are his plans to attract investors? Is he going to also go door knocking to each of these um, places to speak to them or to get some form of investors to enrich the state? Yeah. You see, to become a governor of a state, there, are, there, is, a there is a process that you have to go through. First of all, you have to sell yourself to the people, not to investors. Uh, secondly, your election comes and you are elected. The thirdly, you are sworn in, you become governor. As at that point, you now start selling the state. Because as I speak, what is on ground in Edo, Edo State now, there is nothing to write home about. Because all what they have done for the past, in the past, is just MOUs. So what do we even have to say to investors now? In the first place, when you are coming to a door now, you will see clearly that the place is so dirty. Is that what you are going to say to investors? What are you going to say to investors now? As I speak, he's going from one place to another, knowing the problem of the state, hearing from the people the problem of the people, because he wants to, he wants to, his government is going to be all embracing. He's going to engage it in such a way that uh, uh, we are starting almost from afresh. Because Governor stop where Comrade Adam Soshomole stop. who was the governor of this state for eight years. That's where governor stop. For the past eight years, we have not experienced governance. So right now, we first of all have to bring confidence to the people so that we can have people to even come out to vote. Yes. That's Mr. what we are doing. Mr. So he's selling himself to the people and would, to market yourself. Yes. Yeah. I would really love to hear from his engagement what the challenges in Edo State are currently. 
but he's not here. We cannot understand. He cannot even come to communicate that. So we are just speaking to representatives, spokespeople, but he's the man that we want to ask these questions. And that's, I'm sure you can appreciate the difficulties. But let's um, focus on, um, you know, you saying that since, uh, you know, former Governor Adams Oshomele, Oshomele, would you agree that IGR in Edo State has increased over the years under this administration? Well, you see, let me, that, that's, the, that's, one, uh, that's one problem that is even, uh, that's one very big problem in this state right now. You see, well, you, you, you said that IGR has increased. Yes, fine, it has increased. What have they done with the IGR that has increased? The people are paying taxes. They are not seeing uh, what they are using the money to do. If we have time here, and we are not going to be saying libel, although they can't even go to sue anybody for libel because the facts, the, the corruption here is obvious. If you are collecting money from people, the people should be able to see what you are using the money to do. Okay, recently, you saw a situation where he said he bought rice as palliative, and those rice were kept in the district. Meanwhile, he didn't buy rice. The federal government brought, brought rice. Dan Gote brought rice, and they rebagged. And he gave those uh, rights to his uh, party people who are selling them in the market. Okay, let's assume that money gotten from IGR were used for, for that purpose. That money has gone into their pockets again. So the increase of IGR has nothing to do with the people right now. The Edo uh, State, as I speak, the people are so angry with this governor. They are so angry. There are certain things I will not want to use here. But they are so angry to the level of <laughs> if after the election, uh, when he hands over, he has to just leave because the people okay. are so angry. Okay. The people are not happy with okay. him at all okay, Mr. because Tenebe. of the fraud okay. that is obvious. Okay. So the, okay. yes. Mr. Tenebe, th thank you so much. And, and uh, thank you so much. But I quickly just want to tell you that uh, your position that you put forward, that the reason why Monday of Pueblo can't come because arises for the bourgeoisie is not true. We are for everybody. And your arguments are flawed. And I'll tell you why, sir. In Edo State, no, let, me, let, me, let me talk, let me speak now, let me speak. Can I speak?